Alright guys, today we are going to install FSR4 XSS frame generation into Red Dead Redemption 2 using OptiScaler. And uh, it's kind of new way. It's basically the same thing but with some different steps. And these steps can cause problems for some people. This involves what they called as memory patching. And Windows Defender doesn't really like when you fiddle with memory. So this process can trigger a false possibility on Windows Defender. It might see some files as virus. So if you don't feel comfortable with that, don't do this. That's why I'm saying this beforehand. This method will mostly benefit AMD and Intel users. If you are having black flickering or that Christmas-like lightning, this will fix it. Those issues comes from the spoofing method we used before with the fake NV API. But with this method, we don't do that. Now, let's get into it. As usual, go to graphics, set the screen type to borderless window, we sync off and make sure you're using DirectX 12 instead of Vulkan. Installing this is really easy because I already did the complicated part for you and packed everything into a file, which you can find in my video description. Just open that file, then open the OptiScaler folder. Don't worry about the other method, I put it there just in case. If this doesn't work, try that. Extract everything into your game directory. If you have a clean install of the game, you shouldn't see any replace file messages. I'm using the uh, free version of the game. If you are on legit version, you might face some problems. Might, not always. I can't show you how to fix them since I don't have that version. But if you run into issues, comment down below and I will try to help. After that, just open the game. Again, this method is mainly for AMD and Intel users. Nvidia users can stick to the old method. Just replace the FSR4 file and you are done. Before going into the game, head to settings and graphics. If you can see the DLSS option, that means it worked. If not, sadly, you need to go back to the old method. It still works, but you will face more problems. If you see DLSS, just choose a quality setting and load into the game. Once inside, press the insert key on your keyboard to bring up the OptiScaler menu. You will see a message saying restart the game to apply correct XCFG settings. You must restart the game. After restarting the game, you will notice that in the spoof section, it says off instead of on. That's good, means it's working. Now let's test FSR4. The first time you enable it, the game will freeze for a bit. Don't worry, it's not crashed. You can still hear game sounds. Just wait 10 to 20 seconds. After that, it will load and work fine. With FSR 4, I'm getting around 50 to 60 FPS. To activate frame generation, tick the active option. So I'm now getting around 90. The game feels super smooth and it's working really well. One thing I forgot to mention even in the uh, previous video, sometimes you will notice ghosting or flickering on the crosshair. To fix that, you can use the HUD fix. This will not completely get rid of ghosting. You will see flickering here and there. Other than that, the mod is really solid and very playable. If you enable show detected UI, the UI capture works perfectly, but when I'm aiming at something with crosshair, it, it still tends to flicker. Not sure if it's FSR4 or something else. But that's the only issue I found. Other than that, input lag feels great. Honestly, it doesn't feel like there is any at all. The game looks good. So yeah, that's about it. If I find a fix for the flickering issue, I will update you guys. And if you know a fix, let me know in the comments. Until next video, adios amigos.